All right, today I'm going to walk you through the Tinkercad measuring practice. Uh, the goal of this is to get you used to this tool right here. It's the ruler tool. You'll need to know how to use this tool for your reverse engineering projects. Uh, in this assignment, you basically do what the slide tells you to do. It says make this shape, then put this shape exactly in this spot. And you know where to put the shapes based off the dimensions right here. And we get those dimensions from the ruler tool. Then you screenshot it, put it in here so I can grade it. Simple enough, right? Let's get into this. So first it says start by making this shape. It's a two by two by one inch rectangle, right? We know how to do that. We don't even need the ruler tool. I'm just going to go two, tab, two, enter. Beautiful. Then it says put this cylinder, in this case it's a hole, where? Well, it says put it a quarter inch to the right of this corner right here. And then it says push that cylinder up, let's just call it, uh, a half inch. So we are going to drag a hole out here. We're going to crank those sides up to 64. And we're going to put it roughly in, in the right spot, right? Not going to be too particular. And then we're going to get this ruler tool. Just click on it and then come out to the corner of your shape. And then just click. Now, the circle right here, the it's called the origin, needs to line up for this assignment. It needs to line up with this bottom left-hand corner. It needs to. Right now, it's not. How far away is it? Well, it's three-eighths of an inch uh, to the right and then upwards. Now, I could uh, just drag it and snap it into place. That's fine. If for some reason your snap grid's off and you just can't for some reason get it lined up on the origin, here's what you do. You just click on that dimension type zero, right? We want it to be zeroed out. There should be zero distance between the origin and the corner. Um, so that's a little life hack for you. Now, we don't care about the, the size of this red rectangle, right? We already know it's good. We need to figure out where to place this hole. So again, it said it needed to be a quarter of an inch to the right of the origin on the X axis and then a, a half inch uh, up on the Y axis. So uh, luckily, hey, we can just drag this. It's a quarter inch to the right and then a half inch up. See, my dimensions are all good. Now, here's what you need to do. Take text, type your last name, uh, shrink it down so I can see it and then screenshot it but I have to be able to see the dimensions of well what do I want to see the dimensions of I want to see the dimensions of the cylinder and you know that's what I want because I give you the example right there so you'd screenshot this toss it in there move on to the next shape next up we have a little skinnier of a rectangle and then we have a hole through that rectangle so very similar to our first example this rectangle is two and an eighth by three eighths of an inch by one inch. If it's hard to see this, you can actually just enlarge this entire picture like that, and then you should be able to see it really easy. All right, two and an eighth by three eighths by one. Oh, you're not supposed to see that. Two and an eighth by three eighths inches tall by one. Good, now it's off my origin, right? So I'm just going to zero it out. Good. Where does that hole go? The hole is a half inch by half inch by three eighths tall. Let's just get that sorted out. We said it was, let's just go a half by a half. And then don't forget to crank those sides up to 64. You know, I'm, I'm gonna leave the height where it is because if I made it the exact same height as my box uh, it'd be difficult to grab so I'm just gonna make it taller and it needs to be an eighth of an inch to the right of the origin and then three eighths of an inch up from the origin oh look at that first try eighth inch three eighths that's right yep throw your name right here screenshot it with these dimensions and move on next up we got a uh, two by one by five eighths. Yeah, two by one by five eighths inch half circle. I need to turn this upright. This guy was a half inch. I already forgot the measurements. Oh yeah, two by one. Simple enough. 
All right, we're going to zero it out on the origin. And we need to figure out where this hole should go. This hole is how big? It looks like one and a half. And how deep does it go? A quarter inch. So one and a half by a quarter inch. 1.5. Quarter inch wide. Good. And how far from the origin should it be? Well, it should be, it says right there, it's a quarter inch. Look at that. I already nailed it. Put your name on it, screenshot it with those dimensions, and move on. Now things are starting to get a little little trickier. Uh, this part's the same, two and a half by one and a half by a half. That's not bad. We can do that in our sleep. But these holes, that's going to be a little trickier. The hole is an eighth inch by an eighth inch by a half inch tall. And it is an eighth inch to the right of the origin. And then it's pushed upwards a quarter inch. So let's make that eighth inch hole. Should be able to snap to it. Yep. Well, we're going to make it nice and tall just so we can grab it and move it easier. So that hole needs to be an eighth inch to the right and a quarter inch up. There, simple enough. But here's the tricky part. We have to put another one up here, and the dimensions have to be the same. Not only the size, but the location. So here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to shift our origin. You can click on this and drag it, and then... Well, now, this is stupid. I hate Tinkercad because my thing isn't lined up with origin. Anymore. Relax. You don't have to hate on Tinkercad. You can just wait for it, click on the origin, and it's going to rotate it for you. So now, my origin's right here, and it's lined up with the corner of my object. That's what I want. If I click on this, see it's zeroed out. Now, I need to duplicate this guy. I'm going to click Control D, and then send it on down. We said it needed to be an eighth inch. Uh, in this case, it'll be to the left of the origin and then a quarter inch high. So I'm just going to scooch it up a quarter. Boom. That's all we got. Now, what dimensions do I want to see that you have? This guy right here. So we're going to drag our origin back to here. Rotate it. Click on this guy. Throw your name right there. And screenshot it with those dimensions. Congratulations. We only got one more. Uh-oh. This one's going to be tough. It's a two by two by a quarter inch. Uh, let's just get rid of these holes and then use what we have. It's a two inch by two inch by a quarter. Two tab. What am I on? Uh, let's go 0 0.25. This guy needs to be two. All right, we got that, that part sorted out. And then we have to make an oval. Uh, that oval, oh, look at those decimal. oh, this is going to be terrible. This is going to be just terrible. Relaxed, it's, it's fine. Uh, we're going to make this oval 0. 0.531 wide and then 0. 0.876 tall. 0. 0.531 wide. And then it was 0. 0.876 tall. 0. 0.876, right? Six seven eight six seven. There, beautiful. Uh, height, I don't really care about as long as it's taller than this guy. While we're at it, crank those sides up to 64. And where does it need to be? Oh, thank goodness. We're, we're dealing with fractions with the, uh, the placement of the, uh, I don't even know what it's called, oval. Uh, all right, so we got a quarter inch by three eighths. Should be a quarter inch to the right, three eighths inch up. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Then it tells us to put a three eighths by three eighths cube by a quarter inch tall. Where? One and all right, we're going to have to enlarge this. One and three eighths inch to the right of the 
origin a quarter inch up. All right, so let's start with this cube. It's three eighths by three eighths by a quarter. What? Oh, now I need to do the math for three eighths. What is three divided by eight point three seven five point? Five. That's three eighths of an inch. I'll hook at that. Um, and then how tall is it? It needs to be a quarter inch tall. Well, let's change the color just so it's easier to uh, to distinguish between our base. And where did it say we needed to be? One and three eighths inch to the right and a quarter inch up. One and three eighths, quarter inch up. Beautiful. I think that's everything. Yeah, is that the dimensions we want? Uh, I think so. Yeah, click on that cube. Make sure your name is visible in that screenshot, and you are done. And then post it here.